How much do you know about the instrument that you love to play? I'm Mr B and this week's One Minute Ukulele Trivia is all about World Ukulele Day. World Ukulele Day, or World Play Your Ukulele Day, is an international celebration every year on February the 2nd. It is a chance for the whole world to come together through a shared love of music and pick up one of the easiest instruments it is possible to try and play. World Ukulele Day began in 2011 and was created by Michael Lynch, also known as Ukulele Mike, and to whom I have already dedicated a video on my channel. We wanted a way to bring the world together peacefully through music. Ukulele Mike believed the ukulele was a true instrument of peace, and although he sadly passed away in 2018, his legacy lives on through his online ukulele lessons and through World Ukulele Day every February 2nd. And that's the end of this week's One Minute Ukulele Trivia. Please help the channel to grow by exploring the other videos and liking and subscribing if you enjoyed them. Do take care. This week's One Minute Ukulele Trivia is all about how many different types of ukulele there are. A ukulele is different to a guitar as it only has four strings compared to the six strings on a guitar. The four strings on a ukulele from top to bottom are most commonly tuned to G, C, E and A, although there are other ways to tune a ukulele. This is the most commonly used around the world and therefore the most easy setup to find music for. There are multiple types of ukulele, the tiny piccolo or soprano ukulele, the standard soprano ukulele, the larger concert and tenor ukuleles and the baritone ukulele. The soprano, concert and tenor are tuned the same way, whilst the piccolo and the baritone ukuleles tuned to D, G, B and E, which is the same as the bottom four strings of a guitar. For new players, the soprano is always a good place to start, and once you have mastered the basics, the concert or tenor ukulele is a nice instrument to move on to, with the very high-pitched piccolo and the more guitar-orientated baritone for more specialist players. Certainly, it is always worth remembering that the chords you learn for the soprano, concert or tenor will be different to the ones you would have to learn on the piccolo or baritone. And that's the end of this week's One Minute Ukulele Trivia. Please help the channel to grow by exploring the other videos and liking and subscribing if you enjoy them. Do take care. This week's One Minute Ukulele Trivia is all about the meaning of Mahalo. Many of us enjoy playing Mahalo ukuleles. After all, they are affordable, stay in tune and offer a good sound. And no, I am not sponsored by them. But do we know where the word Mahalo comes from? The word is a form of gratitude in the Hawaiian language and basically means thank you. And whilst English is the main language of Hawaii, as it is now an American state, Hawaiian is still an official language there and is a cherished part of Hawaiian identity. Another well-known Hawaiian word is of course aloha, which can mean welcome but can also be used for goodbye or love. Another Hawaiian word is honu, which is the name for the Hawaiian green sea turtle, which is an incredibly beautiful yet sadly endangered creature. And that's the end of this week's One Minute Ukulele Trivia. Please help the channel to grow by exploring the other videos and liking and subscribing if you enjoyed them. Do take care. This week's One Minute Ukulele Trivia is all about how the ukulele can provide brain training. Learning to play the ukulele can provide emotional and developmental support to Alzheimer's patients and also those with dementia or suffering from the effects of a stroke, according to research. Listening to and learning music has been found to strengthen the memory of Alzheimer's patients in addition to stabilizing their emotions and as the ukulele is such an easy instrument to pick up, it's a great way for people suffering from these illnesses to access the benefits of music. Music can improve memory functions and mental performance in people experiencing cognitive decline through illnesses such as Alzheimer's. Structured music lessons are like mathematics and architecture. They are grounded in connections between different notes. Whilst you may not be aware of it, your brain gets engrossed in immense computations to make sense of these notes. Musical activity engages almost every area of the human brain. This means that whether you are playing an instrument or listening to a song, your entire brain becomes involved in the process. When playing an instrument, your brain works to establish coordination between your hands while reading notes at the same time. In this way, music can provide a vigorous exercise for the brain and help improve cognitive functions. Playing music also creates pleasant feelings, which also has a significant cognitive effect. Music can also help patients with Parkinson's disease and those who are suffering mobility problems arising from a stroke. And that's the end of this week's One Minute Ukulele Trivia. Please help the channel to grow by exploring the other videos and liking and subscribing if you enjoyed them. Do take care. This week's One Minute Ukulele Trivia is all about Jake Shimabukuro. One of the early YouTube videos to go viral was a ukulele cover of George Harrison's famous song Whilst My Guitar Gently Weeps, written and performed by Jake Shimabukuro in 2006 and called simply Ukulele Weeps. The video has had over 17 million views since then and was one of the early ukulele videos that helped put the instrument well and truly onto the YouTube map. It is a wonderful song and performance and is definitely worth a few minutes of your time to have a listen to. And that's the end of this week's One Minute Ukulele Trivia. Please help the channel to grow by exploring the other videos and liking and subscribing if you enjoyed them. Do take care. This week's One Minute Ukulele Trivia is all about when Elvis played the ukulele. 
Most of us learning the ukulele will have at some point come across the songs of Elvis Presley arranged on the ukulele, especially his famous Can't Help Falling In Love With You, which really does work beautifully on the instrument. However, what many people don't realise is that Elvis actually recorded a ukulele song as part of his performance in the film Blue Hawaii. Blue Hawaii was Elvis's eighth film and became his biggest commercial success. The film had 14 songs and the album that was created afterwards spent 79 weeks on top of the charts, which was a huge success. In one of the songs called Hawaiian Sweetheart, or Kill Evo, to give it its proper name, Elvis played the song on a ukulele for the film, which was filmed on location in Hawaii. And that's the end of this week's One Minute Ukulele Trivia. Please help the channel to grow by exploring the other videos and liking and subscribing if you enjoyed them. Do take care.